Pirates always win. I got this. On it, team. Mirror oh. image. Wait, we still have. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Um. It was one of those moments in time where it's like, hey, a critical hit and a bunch of people failing their saves is a bad point in time. Squirrel. Got him. All right. Raider quicken meta magic. Oh my. Can't make the demons wait. Here through. Nope. I might be able to get. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, we. The main base is at. Oh, how? A familiar red-haired healer brushes some, uh, some ash from his sleeve and shakes his head as he inspects a pile of charred demon corpses. <laughs> they were too stubborn to retreat. Their determination could have helped them in life, but instead it has only led to their untimely deaths. I regret having to kill them. What are you doing here? I, I debated for a long time whether or not to interfere in Dresden's affairs. However, the words of the loyal warriors who remained behind to defend the fortress uh, touched my heart. I was persuaded to get involved, and none too soon, it seems. Uh, what happened to the cultist I spared? I heard that he became a healer. I do not know if he still worships Baphomet, but uh, even if he does, I'm certain that he will bring more good into the world than evil. You should be proud of yourself. You chose to spare him. Thanks to your decision, the world now has another caretaker of the afflicted. Come with me, you can help me drive away the demons. You're not leading a large force against the demons, and, the, and that leads me to believe that you do not want to attract attention, and a gold dragon entering the fray is something that attracts a good deal of attention. Trust me. Furthermore, I wish to see for, your, uh, see for myself what you have achieved over the years. I want to observe how the dragon spirit manifests within you. Uh, farewell, Commander. This will be a difficult fight, but if you look within yourself, You'll find that your spirit, the spirit of a dragon, cannot be defeated. 
If you feel the desire to follow Tarendalov's example, come and meet me in Dresden after the battle. And if you do not, well, then this will be our last meeting. Oh my. Make a heart save here? Okay. Calling it big save. Along with a quick save. Should have worried. Into the fray, the light take you. I better pop that on real quick. From this point on, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just do the giant buff and just go from here. Completely forgot she already has boots of. Oh, well, whatever. Do you have a negative level on? Why the hell does she have a I negative level? My aid. Please, allow me. You are my favorite aid. You're a good person. I like you. F 
I only have a few dino bones left. So I suppose doing it this time around shouldn't hurt. We must stop this war. I sure as hope we stray from my past. Oh, Ember. Who's this for? Oh, okay, yeah. Boop. All right, let's do this. The struggles never cease. The storm will die. I will resist. Here comes trouble. Ugh, oh, missed. Wonder if Ember gives you the morality to talk to, uh, to if you're evil. Probably. <laughs> probably. Probably. I, I would. I, I actually wouldn't doubt it. Forgetting about that. Oof. 
52. Nice. That was much better. Ember is a sweet bean, though. She is, though. She is. We do like Ember. my room I gotta loot got something in my own room can't make the demons wait oh huh, well anyways a long months have passed commander but even while you were away on the uh, on the other plane I could hear your brave heart beating the sound never stopped for a second commander you you're a lively one grandpa elf <laughs> always finding yourself in the most dangerous spots but I'm still, uh, but I'm still glad to see you. Although you'd be safe, <laughs> safer tucked up by a fire somewhere. Finian, <laughs> Finian. Uh, how have things been these past six months? The queen showed us nothing but respect and fair treatment after she decided to proceed with the crusade. Many of us chose to stay with the unit, in or, uh, unit order to protect the warstone until you were, your return. It was an easier decision for me than for others. I had encountered you in the abyss, and I knew you were alive, but not everyone believed me. And then yesterday, I had a vision. I was leafing through the pages that you had collected for me, and suddenly I saw the future. Not the future uh, future clamoring to be told by the page in my hand, but your future. The future of the person who first brought me the page. In my vision, you returned from the abyss, marked by new powers that would uh, uh, that, uh, that wound that wound around you like snakes your voice made the earth tremble people and demons dropped to their knees and iomide herself extended you a helping hand but the only thing you were concerned with was the whereabouts of the banner that queen galfrey had taken with her i know what i saw is difficult to believe but i am in the habit of trusting my vision so i hurried to the citadel to lay my hands on some of the queen galfrey's possessions and try to discern where she went and where your banner is now my story is simpler. And even I both agree to agree that we, we would, should stay here to wait for you. We are supposed uh, we are supposed to serve the queen, but our hearts are here. Besides, you are still the commander of the crusade, and I have no right to abandon you, even there, even if there's no hope left. Although I must admit that the storyteller's tale about this vision of your imminent return seemed quite vague. I followed him here to make sure he didn't accidentally hurt himself. I'm glad that he proved to be right, and you really have returned. Okay, well, now the question is, do you know where the queen went? It wasn't easy. I see the queen's future and her past as if uh, looking through shattered glass. Multiple visions come uh, come one after another, distorting the picture. The queen is in mortal danger at the crossroads of her fate, and her every step may prove fatal. But I did not give up, and fortune smiled upon me. I touched her goblet and learned where she was leading, leading her army. Her majesty decided to march for is. A bold move, one worthy of a queen who is not accustomed to hiding. This is an utterly anti-scientific anti method of acquiring information, and that's what makes it so interesting. I'll have to conduct a, serious, a series of experiments involving you to establish how you react to various objects to identify patterns in the amount of information that you receive from them. The storyteller smiles. You have already said that in exactly those words. You even conducted your experiments. You handed me some shards of shards to hold. Once you brought a huge bulb, 
and another time you gave me a live hedgehog. And then you said that the experiment was a failure and immediately forgot all about it. Really? Well, if I decided to forget all about it, that must mean I didn't learn anything of interest. I won't remember this time either. So, what were we talking about? <laughs> God, Ninio! Why? Anyways, we must hurry and help the queen. Let's take Dresden back, Commander, and then we march onward. Is that place sounds familiar. Can you remind me of the details? Oh, is the city that hangs over the abyss. It once was the citadel of, a, of legendary rulers, the capital of Sarkoris. But now demons are tearing it apart, making a mockery of its former glory. Two-thirds of its magnificent streets and proud uh, towers have collapsed into the world. But the city it's, but the city still holds on, just as Sarkoris holds on. Defeated, but refusing to die. Queen did the right thing. We, mu uh, we mustered enough strength to try and go on to the offensive uh, for the first time since the First Crusade. If we don't recapture is now, who knows how many years we'll have to wait for another opportunity to approach it. Two arms. It's time for the final battle for Dresden. Yes, your arrival has changed everything. Attacked by two armies, we felt like a, a dilapidated pal a palisade on the verge of being swept away by a giant wave, but with your return, we have become an indestructible wall that will stand any blow. I was afraid we would not be able to succeed without the banner. We may not have the banner, but we're still here. We live to see you return. You truly are our banner, banner commander. Two arms. There's one more thing. In the shattered fragments that uh, from, form her fate, I can sense your presence, and I'm convinced that the queen could sense it too. No one can say what your next encounter will lead to, but there is one thing I know for certain. Queen Galfrey's fate and yours are tightly intertwined. Perhaps that is what made the queen write this letter to you. After I touched her goblet, I saw her hiding in a secret compartment in the wall, and I managed to find it. I do not know what it says, but I can sense the emotions that were tearing uh, the queen apart while she wrote it. I think I'll be able to tell you about the feelings she was experiencing in that moment. If you wish, you can come to me later. Then, you know, when everything has settled down, and bring this letter with you, you will look into the past of this item together. I oh, know there are too many of them. Nope. I know this music. This is useless. We're done for. Don't fall back. Hold the line. A hue. Ooh. And so it begins. I know, right? And, and a huge oily Nelfshni uh, is waiting for you with his arms folded. Here comes the commander, kids. <laughs> so, commander, do you like what you see? You've arrived just in time to hear your friends screaming for help. They trusted you, and look what's happened to them. Do you actually think you can rescue them? <laughs> Who do you think you are? You should have arranged. Uh, you shouldn't have angered our master, mortal. He will take away everything you have. Your mind, your flesh included. You belong to him. Who sent this army here, you beast? We all we all serve our master, Baphomet, lord of the labyrinth. He promised us Dresden and your skin as a doormat. You'll only get Dresden, Orenka. Uh, uh, the skin is mine and mine only. He will look splendid in my chambers in an ineluctable prison. I'll do what that idiot Minago failed to accomplish. I'll destroy the Wardstone as you watch, little commander, and then I'll admire the despair frozen on your face forever. I will, I'll rescue my friends. He bursts into laughter. I'll rescue all with you, my friends. And how exactly will you do that, you pathetic Galarian maggot? What can you do on your own without your army? Yell inspirational speeches? Oh no, I'm so scared. And then all the pathetic defenders of Dresden will be inspired and turned into an insult force? <laughs> yes, that's usually how it goes in fairy tales. And do you know what happens next in real life? Your fans will rot in the my lord's dungeon and their bones will join the myriad of others. Will wipe your army out. They do a lot of talking. They're doing a lot of talking, and I don't see any actions truly backing up them words.
Once I'm done with him, uh, they will come and spit in your face. It's time to end this mortal. He has nothing to surprise us with. You are just a jumped, uh, jumped up mortal insect. You are nobody. Requires legend? Requires... Oh, God! <laughs> wait! Wait, 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 wait! Oh, that's right! We're not hard set in the angel yet! And now we have three paths! What? Oh, God! Oh, God! Chat! That's how I. S this is how I start the two pass. Ah! Still not hard set with this. Okay. I will know. I will know. Okay. I'm gonna stick, I'm still gonna, I think I'm still gonna stick with Angel, Angel Mythic Path. Let the darkness perish, be gone from my world, demons. Power rushes through your body, almost ripping it apart. The wound in your chest bursts open in a spray of bloody droplets. Uh, the might bestowed upon you by the abyss and a reel of Gorlesh erupts into this world, and you pay for it in purest agony. Light suffuses you, bright and shining light, and the desire to protect your world at any cost. That was cool. I don't know what that is, but I'm going back to the quick save. Because I want to see the dragon path. I have no idea what the hell that was, but I want to see the dragon path. Beautiful. For max replayability? <laughs> oh, that's true. I mean, I'm going to be honest, though. I don't know if I'm going to get to the point where I want to do dragon. I'm, I may end up being... Um, I may... End up... Uh, late game pass or an exception? Yeah. Okay. I'm a dragon. Hold on. Um, my regular villain who just a moment ago seemed so vast, so powerful, now seems like a slow-witted uh, bully to you. The demons of the Citadel's defenders are all just poor, misled children who see no further than the tip of their own noses. Your heart fills with compassion. If I get the urge for gold dragon, there I go. Okay. The soft glow of your scales touches them all, soothing them with its warmth, and they realize there is no need to fight anymore. Battles are pointless. Life, every moment of it, is the greatest miracle. Preserving it and revel reveling it, and each day is what is truly important. And some of the demons hesitate for a moment and then leave, wondering that what they're doing here and why they got into this fight in the first place. Okay, so this is definitely neutral good path. The gold dragon is neutral good. Okay. 
You know that they are no match for a gold dragon, and their sad decision uh, has just doomed them. Battle it is then. Oh, is this just going to be a giant bite? Still cool. 